Okay, hi there. Um, I'm gonna spitball a little bit. It won't be the most concise video, but um, I'm gonna talk about the way that the content has made me feel so far, and I don't think I can write that down in a truthful way at the moment. But um, for week two, I think the the most provocative and I suppose the the most difficult to wrap my head around part of the content has been uh, the Whiteheadian theories of um, the world being a medium and m most importantly to me the fact, or not the fact, the, um, the opinion that a, a human consciousness or a human nature um, doesn't, doesn't matter at all in the, um, in the experience of trying to understand media and better our better our aspects of communication that we are that we are developing um for me uh as as someone who who is creative wanting to get into media through creative avenues writing filmmaking music um to see the world completely as a medium and to see us specifically as humans as almost like a node of data, I guess is the way that Murphy is trying to... Not Murphy, sorry, that Whitehead is trying to um, to place it in an, anal in an analytical way. Um, it's, it's almost uh, a little disheartening to think of it this way. Um, uh, some philosophical questions that are raised for me in trying to think of it like this is... is um, what is the point or what is the the validity of trying to trying to understand um, the the medium communication that is going on around us if we aren't able to draw on our own sense of consciousness of our own I guess morality or place on earth as as the most intelligent the most um the most living living life form that there is. I think that, um, the, I think that to have, to have consciousness is important to finding a, a, a sense of belonging and further assists trying to understand the way that we communicate and the way that we, um, employ media in the general world. It seems difficult to me to only capture humanity and human nature as things that are incidental and not important or um, not at all different from the, from the systems of nature and animals that we see otherwise. As as far as we know, like the universe is is expanding and it's gonna get bigger and bigger. But from my perspective, I don't think any of us will see in our lifetimes a higher being or a some sort of life form that can communicate more extensively and more intimately than we can. And I think, from a creative standpoint, which is my principle intake of media. The consciousness is crucial in this. Animals and flora, no matter how complex or large, abundant, or, you know, endangered they are, they can't do the things that we can with our minds. And to just say that humanity is only another, like, just, just another part of it, in a way we are, physically we are, but mentally I can't agree with what Whitehead says, although I think his observations are are, are interesting. Like um, Murphy says, he's quoting, well, he's paraphrasing one of Whitehead's passages, it says, our sole task is to exhibit in one system the characters and interrelations of all that is observed. I, I don't think that um, that's our soul our sole task or our sole purpose or that we only belong in one system. I think there is a capacity to have many, many different systems that are nuanced and available to, to people specifically because of our consciousness. 
I'm gonna stop there. I've rambled for five minutes, but um, hopefully this is the sort of thing that you guys are looking for. I only have a couple of references at the end of at the, at the bibliography that I've attached with this, and um, do let me know if uh, I should change anything for next time. But thanks very much.